Number one. S. S. Number two. S. Number three. G. Number four. U. 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 That has a macaron. macaron. D. 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 Number six. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number seven. Repeat. Remember, repeat the sound first before you say it. Number eight. S. S. Number nine. E. E. E, e. e with a Number ten. Er. 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 Number eleven. A. 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 With a. Please. What sound did I say? A. 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 I said A. So what does that mean? Breathe. Breathe. Not macron. Breathe. Number 12. Mm. 13. Repeat. T. 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 T.
we will do something on number 30 and 31 here in a little bit. Okay, so for now, turn your paper over. <laughs> Okay, number one. You spelled this yesterday. Let's see how good you can remember to spell today. Number one, review word. Black. Sound it out, write it. Black. Number two, clock. Number three, trick. Trick. Not ch not churric, turret. Turret? Turret, like trick or treat. Number four, just the word two. Not the number, just the word two. Like I am going to the store. If it was two, it would have two. Number five. Number four. Two. Number five. Same one as yesterday, hard one. Eight. See how many of you remember? Like the number eight. I know it wasn't spelled anything like it sounds. That is why it is a sight word. And number six. You don't need it right now anyway. I'll give you the answer if you want to know. Number six. Write the word four, but this is the number four. Okay, the number four, not the word four, the number four in word form. Okay, this is how you spell those review words and cite words. If you're watching the video, you may pause to fix any words you need to. Boys and girls, echo these words and listen to the sound in the beginning or initial, which also means beginning position. Are you ready? Repeat. Then. 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 There. There. Those. Those. What sound do you hear in the initial position? Initial means beginning. Ooh. Okay, let me write this up on the board. Then. Them. These are three different words, okay? Can you tell what letter is making the v sound? What does it have to T-H. T-H is making the v sound. What do we call two letters that come together to make one sound? No, not a blend. A blend is two letters with two different sounds. It is a digraph. The letters TH are a digraph. Now echo these words and listen to the ending for the final position. Map. Map. Mop. Pat. Pat. What sound do you hear in the final position? Okay. So. Math. Mop. What letters are making the T sound? T-H. Okay, T-H makes the sound, look, look at my voice, makes the sound and mm. Okay, the difference between these sounds is one is voiced and the other is unvoiced. Let me show you. Put your hand on your throat and say this sound. Okay. This is like the sound in think. Now, voice sounds make your vocal cords vibrate or move. This sound is not voice because you feel nothing when you say. Okay. It is not voice. Now, let's try the other one. We were saying, mm. okay, ready? Do it. Mm. Do you feel on your throat that something's moving? Yes. Okay, that is a voiced TH, okay? Yes, you can feel your throat move. It is not always easy to 
tell what the letters th will make a voice sound or an unvoiced sound. But usually, if the letters are in the middle of a word, they will be voiced sounds. And if they're at the end of the word, they will be an unvoiced sound. If the letters are at the beginning of the word, they can make either sound. However, you should try the voiced sound first because more words have the voiced sound. If the word doesn't have the, if the word doesn't sound right, try the unvoiced sound. How do we code diagraphs, boys and girls? Underline, underline. underline them. So, if I were to code these, I would underline the THs. Does it matter where they're at in the word? No. Okay. All right, is this a vowel diagraph or a consonant diagraph, boys and girls? Consonant. consonant diagraph. Why? How do you know that? It's no, it's not just because of that. It's because it's made up of consonants. What are the letters? The letters are T and H. Are T and H vowels or T and H consonants? Okay. 30 is going to be the voo sound. So what makes the voo sound? T-H. T-H. Or diagraph T-H. Cross out the T-H, right? And then 31 is which makes the sound? And don't cross Okay, but yes, but what makes it? T-H. Diagraph T-H. Don't cross it out. So two THs, one's going to be crossed out because it is voiced. One is not going to be crossed out because it is not voiced. Number seven. Write the word that. Number eight. Write the word then. Then. And number nine is the word bath. Like you're going to take a bath. Oh, I know that. Those of you watching the video, you can do your three new words and spell them correctly. You may pause if you need more time. All right, boys and girls, doing number one. Think about the, okay, let's code everything that we know first. TH is a diagraph, so we underline it. CK is a so we underline it and we cross out the C and then breathe on the I. Now, does this TH say lit or thick? Do we need to cross it out? No. Okay, number two. Breathe on the I and then underline the TH. Now, boys and girls, this depends on how you say this word. What is or with or what fun with with or with? Now I say, will you go with me with like a not voice? But some people say with where it is voiced, and it actually says it's voiced on this paper. So I'm not gonna if you don't have it as crossed out, I'm not gonna make you because that's not how I say it. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to say it. But I don't say it like that. Number three. What are we going to do? Underline TH. Breathe on the A. Path or path? Path. So no cross out. Rock. Underline CK. Cross out the C. Breathe on the I. The. This one's hard. The. Underline TH. Cross out TH because it says V. Now E yeah. is a tricky one. Yeah. Okay, we're going to call it V right now and make it a long sound. And then you have to accent it. 